Hi guys, I'm Shmi, we're back at Dub Customs. This time though, it's for the new Shmi Mobile, my McLaren 12C. It's starting life in McLaren's carbon black, but we're going to turn it into 3M's gloss blue metallic, and I can't wait to see how that's going to look. You may notice in the background though, this is my old R8 Spider. It's joined the supercar fleet with bespoke VIP. It's available for rent in its new guise, the matte blue metallic, satin blue. That's pretty nice look I think. Can't wait to see how that finishes. But right now let me go and show you the wrap we're going to use on the McLaren. Here it is then, packaged, although I have already opened this because I uh, cut a slice to use on my mobile phone. I'm just getting that out of my pocket, you can see here, back of my Sony Xperia Z1 with a, a little bit of a shmi blue. So this is the material, I'm looking forward to seeing how that's going to look on the car, it's all about catching the light. It's going to look absolutely awesome. First up though, I've got to go and clean up the car. First up, we've got to get the badges off. Because of trying to get the wrap into here, you can't really do that with the spoiler in, so we had to take the spoiler off, which was quite easy, it's hydraulic, you just lift it up and then um, unclip it. So the badges have been removed and then you clean up the paint a bit with some clay just to get rid of any sort of little specks on it. Then you do a proper clean, mask up the lights so they're all protected. Then you get the uh, cut some wrap and we're going to try and put on the first bit of blue. Time for the first panel. It's slightly blue. Good thing with the 3M wrap is how easy you can move it. Stretch it over. So this material is 3M's 1080 control tack. So if you ever get any of these little bubbles, you can literally rub them away and then it's perfect. That's done by some little gaps in the, uh, in the glue underneath and it makes it very, very easy to apply it. And not only that, you end up with a brilliant finish afterwards. A couple more panels down and the colour is starting to look absolutely awesome. So a uh, bumper going on next. Lifted the car up to make it all a little bit easier. You see, cars like this, you need to get right underneath. And there, this all makes it a little bit easier to do. If you heat up the vinyl material, it all makes it a lot easier to sort of bend around the shapes of the car, especially when you're dealing with big bits like this. So when the material is just placed, but not uh, worked on, it sort of starts like this. Then a little bit of shaping and sort of pulling around, it starts to get pretty tidy. The front bumper is now in place. Cutouts made for the light, obviously all the park sensors, also got the uh, headlight washers. It's very neatly trimmed around through the inside. Ready of course for the number plate on there. All very tidy. Very big fan of how this is looking so I can't wait to see a few more parts when we get them down. After putting down the bonnet, a little bit of heat on it brings out the bubbles which you can then get rid of and just make sure the wrap's per sitting perfectly. Day two of the process, started on the rear bumper. Just the side is already starting to shape that round. Simultaneously putting the roof down. A large piece of the two-man job because of the way the piece goes across the top of the car. things like to make sure that you don't get any dirt on the inside of the wrap and you cover the wheels because as soon as you peel the backing off the wrap material it's obviously fairly statically charged so it attracts lots of the dirt off. Uh, to get around that we airline around the edges of parts so that you know, just get 
get rid of anything that's hiding in rubber trims that might come up and then stay inside the wrap, because if it does stay inside the wrap, you would get tiny little bumps, which obviously you want to avoid wherever possible. And we've got none of that. With a lot of the awkward shapes you get, you can heat up the vinyl, ease it into place. It's all about getting the right balance between stretching it a little bit, but not too much that it's going to peel off. Do it carefully while you're heating it up. Shapes all sort of come out and fit tight. We're getting quite far with this, just show in the door shut. Everything's a little bit different on this car to any others, but you can see all down there, been turned blue. We're leaving the turning vane side in black. It's going to go with the mirrors, but that's all looking quite neat. The door to go. We've mocked up a little Shimi 150 logo to go on the underside of the um, air brake at the back. So when the air brake comes up, we're braking hard. Just cutting those out here. It's going to be very hard to see anything right now, but the Shimi 150 logo being cut out. Very neat. Now to go out on a track and actually show that to somebody behind. Next up we've got the badges. Got one of these from McLaren, the official uh, template. Got to work out where it goes and get it stuck on. Just heating everything up and uh, lining, lining it up right. And she's done. The number plates are on the new Shmi Mobile, the 2014 Shmi Mobile McLaren 12C, wrapped here at Dub Customs. Absolutely fantastically, very quickly too, using the 3M bright blue metallic. Just made the job very, very easy. The new materials they create just go down without a hitch. The last thing we had to do was just heat up the car. Um, if you heat up all of the uh, wrap all the bubbles come out and you can get rid of them ready to take it out we've left the mirrors gloss black the turning vanes fenders also gloss black it's got the lightweight mclaren wheels red calipers like the red they go with i've got red stitching red mclaren badges around the back of course the mclaren badge here little homage to bruce mclaren Well, I'm not going to lie, but I am blown away. I think this looks absolutely spectacular. <laughs> and I can't wait for some of the adventures I've got this year in this car. It's going to Monaco. Might be to do with Gumball. Going to Eastern Europe in the summer. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. So make sure you are, of course, subscribed. Stay tuned for all of those. But obviously a massive thanks extended to Dub Customs for the fantastic work they've done in getting this ready. Put it under a lot of time pressure so that I could get the car, get the car wrapped before I show this to you guys and they have succeeded. So, obviously, the R8 is off on new adventures with bespoke VIP, supercar rental. It's uh, turned satin dark blue with uh, lots of black highlights. That's not quite finished, but I'll be sure to return to take another look at it when it is done. Obviously, they've got a pretty cool fleet with bespoke VIP, so check that out. But, uh, wow, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. I hope you agree. Plenty more videos, obviously, though, of my McLaren to come, so make sure you are subscribed. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching how we've been wrapping this car, and I will catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. This is the new Shmi Mobile. This is my McLaren 12C Coupe.